Hi, I'm Valerie Graham and welcome back to this episode of Natural Bliss. Today I have a special guest with me who's here from Florida, Regina Stark, owner of the Regina Stark Gallery and the Center for Art and Healing, which was originally located in Bellport and Brookhaven, now Vero Beach, Florida. Um, I want to read a little excerpt from Regina's uh, artist statement for you. Uh, she's very interesting. She is a yoga instructor, she's a Reiki master, and she's a phenomenal artist. Uh, so very well-rounded, very broad. Um, from her artist statement, my current body of work is a reflection of the evolution of the soul. Art to me is a healing medium. Messages come through and then it happens. It flows and comes together in a rhythm. Each one has a story. Art heals. It tells a story, touches the heart, and brings us to a place of greater knowing. It is my wish that the work I produce touches a chord in the hearts of those who connect with it, and may the message bring healing, peace, and joy. And that is the essence of Regina Stark. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Regina. Hi, I'm very happy to be here. I am so glad that you were up here for a visit and could come on my show because I love her work. It is fantastic. We have some uh, of her artwork with us that we're going to go through and talk about. So tell me a little bit about how you came to um, start the Center for Art and Healing. Uh, well, I've always been an artist. I've been painting since I was three years old. My father was an artist, so he taught me how to paint. And I've used art as a medium for self-discovery for many years. Even when I was younger, I would go up in my room and paint, and that was a place I went to to always feel better or to maybe find some peace, or if something was troubling me, I went to my crayons or whatever. So it's been a part of my journey. And I started to change a little bit after being a professional artist for so long and doing what everybody else wanted. There was something inside of me that wanted more. For myself, you know, and so I started changing and um, changing how I looked at artwork and how I wanted to express myself through the medium, and working in a more of an abstract form, mm -hmm. and that, uh, you know, and letting it happen rather than having an idea right away, and that's part of what happens with the meditation process also, which I have always been doing because my mother was very. Um, prayerful and meditative person. So since I was young, I've been doing that. And when I went on the Reiki journey to discover the healing, it all came together for me. So as it came together for me and I started seeing what this artwork was telling me about myself and, and everything else that surrounded me is when I discovered that maybe this was my real calling was to help people through, through the art, through the healing modalities and through the meditation process. So that's basically what I do, is I teach in all those different mediums. But the artwork, to me, is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And it, everything else comes together, because when you do artwork, <coughs> you're, in that, you, excuse me, you're in that zone, right? So um, that's what happens. I go in that zone, and then I don't know what's going to happen, and it tells me a story, and then I tell people about the story. And I have to say, I've taken, we've been on a long journey together. Yes, we've been we on have. a journey 15 yes, years, I have. guess, at we least. We sure have. Uh, but I've taken a number of classes with Regina, and each one of them is phenomenal. I, am, I don't consider myself an artist uh, that can paint or draw, but everything I have ever done with her has come out phenomenal. And I have them displayed all over my house, which is very unusual because I am not the greatest talented artist that, you know, I, I would like to be, but I'm not. But everything, just as she said, it just flows and comes out of you. And I did that one angel painting. I don't know if you remember, it was I a watercolor. I remember it. And all of a sudden we looked at it and I was just doing brush strokes and Regina's like, there's a face on this angel. <laughs> and it was there. So it just things appear. Mm -hmm. Yep, as, mm -hmm. as we release and get things out. Let go. It's all about letting go, I think. You know, mm -hmm. It is about letting go, and it's about discovery and finding what's there for you. And you were open to it. That's very important. 
You know, if um, I think that what happens when people are open to this and they really want it, you know, they, they, they discover something about themselves. It also brings in the childlike qualities that we need because there's so much other stuff around, you know, mm -hmm. and so it's, a, it's an exciting place for me at, on my own journey, but it's also exciting when someone gets it and mm -hmm. they say, look what I did, you know? So it's very rewarding. I that's love me. doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that's me with Look all of my paintings. <laughs> uh -huh. So um, I met Regina originally um, 15 years ago, I guess. I, uh, at the time, 16 probably, um, we had a mutual friend uh, who I used to take Pilates classes with. And Regina had a store in Sayville. And uh, Diane used my Hydra Mist and my Dream Mist. And Regina called and said, I would like to carry your essential oils. And we had a quick conversation. But at the time, my mom had just passed away. And I said, I can't go there right now. Um, sorry, I'm just not taking on any new customers. Um, and I never got back to her. And a few months later, Another mutual friend, Elizabeth McGuire, said, come with me to Bellport. I want you to meet my friend Regina. You know, she's doing a show. Let's go. So we went. I met Regina. Liz said, this is my friend Valerie Graham. Liz had no idea that Regina had contacted me a few months prior. And Regina said, Valerie Graham? The <laughs> Valerie Graham? <laughs> I wanted and those oils. <laughs> that's right. And Magic the, potions, yes. That's how we started. And from there, yeah. we've been very good friends mm -hmm. and had a lot of fun together and done a lot of art classes together. Yeah, it's good. It's been a good journey. Yes, it has. So let's talk a little bit about some of the pieces. We have some of her artwork here with us today. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the Buddha, which I love. And I have in a card in my facial room, uh, card format, that I have up. Um, just love this one. This is actually my favorite piece because it was a um, piece I actually struggled with because I didn't like the way the Buddha looked. Oh. And that was my ego. And once I let go, it's a long story, but I'll make it short. Once I let go, I realized that there was much more to it than just the fact that I had to get this the way I thought it should be. It was a lesson in letting go for me. Um, it has a lot of different things. The original has a lot of different things in it. It has ground vermilion, which is an earth stone. It's got a lot of elements in it. Um, uh, gold leaf, sumi ink, all the things that um, I think um, represent kind of um, the, the tranquility and the peace of the Buddha. So um, this piece, the original is 30 by 40 inches, so it's three foot by four foot. It's very big, very large, and I have prints of it, but it is my favorite piece, and I think it will always be my favorite piece that I've ever done. The title is called Bodhi, which means enlightenment. Okay. The thing I love about all of Regina's pieces is there is so much going on. There's I have, a lot going on. <laughs> I have one yes, in my facial room right, mm -hmm. that has words in silver mm -hmm. around a mm -hmm. lily pad on a pond. Um, it's, they're absolutely beautiful. So if you look through it, there's, there is uh, lettering. There's little pictures within pictures. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, just it's so much, it's so much to take in. You can stare at it for hours and see new things, which I think is all part of that whole healing process you're putting absolutely. so much into. Absolutely, because we have so many layers, right? Yes. So it's the unraveling of the layers. So that is Bodai. Okay. Now, along with her artwork, Regina also is, as I said, a Reiki master. She does meditation classes. She just hosted one last yesterday at yes, Yoga at Yama. Yoga Yama in Patchogue, <laughs> which is the studio where I was trained at. My favorite studio, by the way. And I hear very good things about yes. that. Um, and along with that, she has a healing meditation CD. Okay, so why don't you tell yeah, us about okay. that? Okay, this CD is called Surrender. Because in order for us to go to that place of healing, we need to surrender. And that's kind of what I do when I teach the artwork, too. I, don't, I teach structure, but I also teach to let go. And in the process of letting go, you find out a lot about yourself. So this is a CD that I uh, sell, and it uh, was 
produced, the music was done by Michael D'Agostino and produced by Charlie Blass. And uh, the, this beautiful photography was done by my friend Eileen Muller. So this is a healing CD and it takes you through the journey of the chakras, the energy vortexes in the body, which is part of what we learn when we do Reiki. And it helps you to remove blockages, to be relaxed, and to go forward with what you want to do on your journey. So it's a very peaceful, um, a lot of people do get this when they're going through um, physical problems, trauma, things like that. Oh, also a hypnotherapist, so it's kind of that kind of a, a thing where you go into a very deep meditation for your healing process. So. And would you, uh, do you listen to, the, to it as you're you painting? Listen to, um, you listen to, you listen to this, you could listen to it in the background, but it's mm -hmm. such a, a form of relaxation that one of the things that I have inside of the package says, don't listen to this when you're driving. Oh. Okay, because wow. it relaxes you so much. So, so uh, you would more or less listen to this when you were in a very a place of relaxing, maybe reclining on a recliner, or even in the bedroom. Sometimes people fall asleep, so it's not advised in the car. Okay, <laughs> and you could listen to it when you're painting. I don't know. Okay. Fall asleep on the on the easel or something. <laughs> Great. Okay. And where can we purchase these? Okay, you can you can purchase them by contacting me, um, and I have I actually have three websites. I have a reginastark.com, and I have reginastarkgallery.com, and I'm just working on centerforartandhealing.com. So either of those, my email is rstar. 363, it's without the K, R star 363, at gmail.com. And um, if you are on my website, you can get all my information. And Facebook. Basically. And she has Facebook. And I have a Regina Star Gallery Facebook page as well. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's talk about our next painting here, which is equally gorgeous. I love the colors. This is a watercolor painting. Um, it does have some gold ink in it. Uh, it's called Illumination, and some people see it and some people don't. But this illumination is Illumination with it's an It's called I? Il okay. I -L -L okay. Illumination, like you mm -hmm. know when you illuminate something. Uh, this is an angel. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yes. Okay. And this yes, particular piece was, I was working with someone with art therapy, and I just did a wash of color with watercolor because I like to use the watercolors to help them to flow the color across the paper. And I used the colors, and, I, and, and she left after the session, and I was like, oh, I'm probably going to just like ditch that. And I was told, just so I got a message, don't, don't disregard it. Come back tomorrow. And when I came back tomorrow, I was also in a period of time where I was asking, gee, I think I need an angel right now. I'm just <laughs> going through so much. I came back, and I actually saw it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is a face here. And there was a very large wing, okay? So in the process of looking at that, I brought out more of the form, and I also got some messages that I wrote in there. And it says, dance to the rhythm of life, um, be a beacon of light, share your knowledge with the world, things like that. It's all written in here. I have a whole poem about this, too. But basically, wow. that's what happened. The angel appeared. Fantastic. <laughs> it's great. The angel is beautiful. It's magic. Art is magic to me. Art is magic. It is. <laughs> okay, and then we have our last one. And this one is, is this one is just uh, done in black and white, maybe a little earth tones. It's called um, Ascending Angel, right? Because my th my belief is, and I talk and lecture about this a lot, is that we are coming to a place. A lot of us who are open of really opening up and and coming to a higher level of consciousness, and that's what this is about you know, kind of getting out of the darkness and coming into the light. That's okay. beautiful. Thank looks you. looks very gothic, like she's in Well, I love neoclassical. Mm -hmm. I love Europe. Um, and I try, I really want to go back to, um, I want to go back to Italy and Me visit too. again. Let's yeah, do Tuscany. A trip. We can do a Tuscany <laughs> trip. But basically, I like a lot of the old world European finishes and things like that. I was a faux finisher, so I think that's where that comes from. And the archway, you know, we always mm -hmm. uh, have doors. Sometimes yes. we close them, sometimes we open them. So it's about opening to new possibilities. That's awesome. All positive. Yeah, all okay. positive. Such great things. Um, and then I have one of mine that I did bring. 
So I think that you can all see this. This is the mermaid. So Regina doesn't just paint angels and, and no, Buddhas and things. Do everything. <laughs> yes, she does. This is her mermaid. Um, she actually runs specials on prints uh, monthly, I believe. Yes, I do. And this was her August one. And I said, I have to have that. It was our anniversary, my husband and I. And he's all about the water. He's into surfing and diving and loves the water. And I thought it would just be perfect in our bedroom. We have these colors going on. So I ordered the print. Regina sent it. And I had it sitting in my living room because I was debating what kind of a frame I wanted for it. My girlfriend walked in and said, oh my god, I have to have that. She goes, where did you get that? I have to have that. And I said, my girlfriend, Regina, I said, hmm, okay, now we're into September. Let me text her and see if I can get another one and I'll give you this one. So that's what we did. I found this beautiful frame for it and I absolutely love it. Again, there's so much going on. We have a turtle, we have the koi swimming around and all the water and I just love it. It's called Under the Sea. So, you know, it's also for you with the crystal blue is, is a Exactly. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I have a fascination with mermaids I have since I was younger. I love all mythical and creatures and things like that. So the mermaid to me is a very fluid thing mm -hmm. when you think about it. You know, anything with the water on a healing modality, it's flowing. It's floating in the water, flowing. And Excellent. Depth. Tim, Depth, right? yes. Depth. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm so glad that you were able to come on and share <laughs> with us. And too. I love all your artwork. Thank and you. Please, everybody, go check out Regina Stark Gallery, reginastark.com, <laughs> the Center for Art and Healing. She's phenomenal. She's got, uh, it's just beautiful to look through all of her pictures that she has out there. Um, I am doing a class, don't forget, this coming Wednesday, October 8th at Bubble in Babylon on essential oils. Uh, please contact Healthy Alternatives at 631-587-4629 if you'd like to join us. And then October 17th, 18th, and 19th, I will be at the Babylon Street Fair with my sensory journey. So I hope to see you all there and have a great Columbus Day next Monday and we will see you very shortly. This is Valerie Graham. Thank you for tuning in to Natural Bliss and thank you for Regina Stark. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.